Hey everybody, it's Maggie from Personal Euphoria with today's plank story. Um, so, if you don't want to do plank today, what I'm going to recommend is a side bend with a twist. So, you whether you're sitting, you're going to side bend to one side and then rotate towards the floor, then back to the side and come up, and you can either repeat the same side or alternate. Uh, and you don't have to add the twist if you're happy with the side bend. All right, so today we have a, another Namibia story. Um, and what you need to know for this one is that Matt really hates feces. Now, I am aware most people have, you know, a normal, healthy aversion to feces. Quadruple whatever you think would be normal. Like, Matt really hates the stuff. And everywhere we went, if you walked around, there was just dung everywhere because there's animals and you're in the wild and um, it's everywhere. And on one day we went on a, a guided walking tour of the bush, which Matt now lovingly calls the dung tour because we saw no animals. And I think that was a little odd because at one point the guide was even like, where are all the animals? And I think in part to like, give us something to discuss, he was showing us like, oh, so this is zebra dung and this is springbok dung and this is oryx dung. But he'd, he'd get really into it. He'd pick it up, he'd break it up. Like, look, Cece, you can see the grass in here shows it's this, like a really good lesson. And I know this is killing Matt. And then at one point he's like, well, okay, so we found some oryx dung and this is what we used to do when we were kids. And he picks up three pellets and he pops them in his mouth and he proceeds to spit them and try to spit them further. And he's like, we used to have Oryx dung spitting contests. And I know Matt's dying, but I'm just thinking to myself, like, is he about to ask us to participate? Like when I travel, if they say like, we eat this bug, you should try it. I try to, to do it. And I'm going, this might draw the line too far. I don't think I can participate in the dung spitting contest. Luckily, he did not ask, um, so we didn't have to go that route. And then also on that tour, we had two guides and the people there are still tribal. So very often when we were talking people, they would tell us what tribe they were from and about it. And so these two guys were kind of talking about how they build their homes, the walls are mud and dung. And one of the guides said, well, my tribe, we also use dung in the floor. It makes it shiny, it's kind of a nice color. And the other guide, I almost thought like it, like he was not, judgy's not fair, but it almost seemed a little like, he was like, oh, we don't use dung on our floors. I'll, I'll grant you it looks nice, but we don't do dung in the floors. And I just thought, you know, it's different levels or materials or scale, but you have the same thing everywhere. Like someone's like, oh, I, I put wood floors in my kitchen. Well, oh, well, I would never do wood in the kitchen. <laughs> you know? um, so that made me chuckle. And then at one point we went to go the, to this seal colony and I really like seals and I was very excited and I'd read about it in advance that it's a huge colony and it smells of their feces. And I got out and it smelled, but not as bad as I had like thought it would be. And I remember noticing that and then we got in the car and our guide said, you know, sometimes after the seal colony, the plan is to do lunch and and the guests are like, I cannot do lunch. Like that smell made me so nauseous. I need a break. And I was like, honestly, I didn't think the smell was that bad, but we're driving away from the seal colony. I was like, but you know, it's like lingering and, and it's stuck in my nose and that's not good. And he's like, yeah, I still smell it too. And then we're definitely away from the seal colony. I'm like, I still smell this. And it's, it's like, make, it is making me a little nauseous. And he's like, I still smell it too. And then I cross my leg over. And when I lift my leg up, I have like a softball sized clump of seal dung wrapped around my shoe, like touching the cloth of the sneaker, not just on the bottom. He slammed on the brakes so fast. We get out of the car. I'm trying to rub it off. He pulls the car mats out. He's trying to clean off the car mats. I'm pretty sure I'm going to throw these sneakers away. I was convinced they smelled for days. I don't know if that was in my head or not. I, I do think it's like it, it got in the fabric of the sneakers. Um, so anyway, plenty of dung to go around. <laughs> uh, 
I hope you uh, enjoyed that. Thank you for listening. I hope your body feels better from some side bending or a plank if you started with that. And as always, have a wonderful day and keep moving.